a very good evening students and uh, the topic in this video that we will discuss is means and ends analysis now uh, as the topic's name suggests there are some means or operations that can be applied to the state and there are some ends or the goals which we want to achieve so this topic is also from section a under the search strategies and uh, various search strategies that we have uh, where we have discussed are hill climbing a star ao star then constraint satisfaction and now this means and ends analysis now uh, generally when we follow the uh, other heuristic search techniques like a star ao star we move in one direction that is either we move forward or we move backward but in the means and ends analysis what do we have we have a start state we have a goal state and we identify that how far the goal state is from the start state and then do we have a operation available that can reduce this difference if a operation is available straight away we will apply it if it is not available we will break the goal into sub goals and then we will try to find an operation which can meet that sub goal so in this technique we will divide the major problem into sub problems now these sub problems they are independent and solving each of them separately and will solve the complete problem in the end so now uh, let us move ahead so this is the algorithm we will come back to this algorithm let us first discuss the prob uh, example so let us take an example of a household robot now in this robot i have a start state in which there is i have a table on that table there is a book and on top of that book one apple is there i want to change the location of this table from position a to position b now there are certain conditions i can push an object a robo can push the object table only when nothing is placed on top of it that means what are what are the things that i want to do first of all i should be near the table so that i can push it then i have to ensure that the table is empty that is nothing is kept on top of the table so for that what i have to do i have to move the book and the apple now the robo can pick up only a single object at a time so what the robo will do it will pick up the apple it will place it on the ground come back then again pick up the book and place it on the ground then it will push the table from position a to position d and then it will come back take pick up the book go back to the table and place it on the table again it will come back pick up the apple and again go back and place it on the book so i hope the scenario is clear there is a start position there is a table on the top of the table there is a book and an apple and i want to move this whole thing from position a to position b and the condition is that the table can be pushed an object can be pushed only when it is empty now what will be our means and what will be our ends the ends will be first of all to vacate the table first of all the robo should be near the table so for that walk operation may have to be applied then once the robo is near the table it has to pick up the apple put it down then it has to pick up the book put it down then it has to push the table then finally it will after it has pushed the table it will place the objects which it has removed from the table back on the table so this way we have to define our goals and sub goals so initially the robo is with the table at position a 
and it has to move the table to position D. Now what is the restriction? The table has to be empty. Is the table empty? That condition arises. No. So what you can do to make the table empty? Pick up an object. So what are operations do we require? Go. I hope the goals are clear. We have to make the table empty. Now for making the table empty, we have to remove the apple and the book. So these are our sub goals. Now what are the operations that are available to me? I have an operation push available in which an object is moved to the location that I provide. Now there are certain preconditions before this operator can be applied. What are those preconditions? First of all, the robot should be at the place where the object is there. Then the object is large. It cannot be picked up. Then the object should be clear and the robot's arms should be empty. These are the preconditions which must be satisfied before I can apply the operator push. Then what will be the result of the push? The result of the push will be that the object will be at the location, desired location and the robo will also be at the desired location. So this is the push operation. Similarly, we have the carry operation. In the carry operation, we have the object and the location and we will carry this object to the location that has been specified. So the robo should be near the object that has to be carried and the object is small. So if the object is large like a table, it will be pushed. If the object is small like the apple in the book, it will be carried. And what will be the result of this? The result will be the object will be at the given location and the robo will also be at the location that has been specified. Then we have a operator walk. Now this walk operator, in this we have to tell the location where we want to go. For this there is no precondition. The robo can walk at any time and the what will be the result that the robo will reach the desired location. Similarly, we have a pickup. Pick up, in pickup operation, we, there is an object involved and the precondition is that the robo should be near that object. Only then robo can pick up this object. Another precondition that we can have is that the robo's arms are empty because only with an empty arm the robo can pick up the object. Then the result of this pick up operation will be that the robo will be holding the object that has been picked up. Similarly we have the put down condition. In this we have the object that has to be put down. So the robo should be holding the object only then it can put it down and then the result will be the robo will no longer be holding the object because we have put it down. Then there is a place operation. In place operation there is an object 1 and there is an object 2 and we want to place the object 1 on top of object 2. So the robo should be near the object 2 and it should be holding the object 1. Then it can place, the result will be the object 1 is placed on object 2. So these are some of the operations that are available to us. And our goals are first of all to push the table. To push the table we have to make it empty. To make it empty, we have to remove the book. To remove the book, we have to remove the apple. So first, we will go walk near the table. So first operation that we will apply is reach the location where the table is there. Then we will see, okay, now the table has to be made empty. For that, we have to remove the book. But for removing the book, we have to remove the apple. So what operation can I apply? I will pick up the apple. And then I will apply operation put down to put the apple down. Similarly, I will pick up the book and I will put the book down. Then I will push the table from location A to location B. 
then i will walk back and i will carry the book to the new location of the table i will walk back i will then pick up the apple and carry it to the new location and place it on top of the book now this is the difference between the various operations that we have if we want to move an object either we push it or we carry it if we have to move the robo then we have to walk if we have to clear an object then we have to pick up the items from that top of that object if we want to put one object on top of another place operation is there if we want to get an arm empty then we have to put down something or place something and if we have to be holding an object then pick up operation is there so i hope that it is clear that in the means and ends analysis there are goals we break those goals into sub goals and then we see what means or what operations we have and then we try to meet those goals using the operations that are available thank you